Good Sunday to you, everybody. Welcome to Barber Dave's Barbershop at Home. I'm Barber Dave for another shave of the day. Uh, today, we're going to be using a product I don't think I've reviewed um, and uh, the uniqueness of it. And it's also from a manufacturer who is a uh, vendor artisan uh, on the shavingcadre.com. And it's Rod from uh, Sterling Soaps, one of the best uh, small batch artisans, although you could argue that small batch is not really what he does anymore because he's got probably more flavors uh, than a 31 flavors ice cream store, uh, for those of you who don't know who that is. Um, so for today, our hardware, we're going to actually be using the Blackland Vector, uh, the safety bar version. There is an open comb version now, which we'll discuss, and then I've got a Feather Pro Guard blade in there. For our brush, we'll be using the TSC First Anniversary Sorrentino Brushworks. Uh, with a two-band silver tip. For our soap, we will be using, as aforementioned, Sterling, but we're going to be using Hipster. And I talk about the name and talk about the notes of, uh, of Hipster and a suggestion uh, as far as this soap is concerned. For the aftershave, we'll be using the matching Hipster aftershave. And then another 1980s power fragrance that if you can find it, um, get it, uh, Van Cleef and Arpels Sar. A uh, little bit tougher to find. Uh, and then, of course, we'll be using our Parasso uh, for uh, the alum and the post-shave powder. So let's talk about Sterling. One of the, the, the greatest uh, soap uh, manufacturers out there right now with a ton of different uh, uh, choices. I mean, if you can't find something you like, at Sterling, you won't. Rod's done a very, very great job. He has coffee now. He's branched in. I remember when he first started, and uh, he's branched off into so many things. So the the hipster soap, I think, is a little bit of a misnomer. And why do I say that? Is because I think most people have this connotation when they hear the term hipster, and I think they think it's going to be very amber, patchouli heavy. Uh, almost a Nag Champa type, uh, but it's really not. Um, to me, it almost smells ethereal. And what I mean by that is the opening, very citrus forward, but then you can, you can feel some of the woods and some of the, uh, the amber and the patchouli that's in it. But to me, when I talk about ethereal scents, these are scents that, you know, give you that calming feeling, that feeling of just wanting to jump inside the fragrance. There's three that give me that ethereal feeling. One is this one. The second one is Penhaligon's Elixir. And those of you that follow me know that I've mentioned that it smells a lot like a, a cathedral, very, very uh, granite-like, very, very gothic in nature and then the other one is savoy steam uh, from uh, once again from penhaligans very fresh very light to me when i when i when i think of all these scents together as weird as this may sound but if you're walking into heaven this is these three are what i would expect heaven would smell like so my suggestion to rod would be to rename this simply heaven because uh, it really is. Um, I don't use, it, it's funny, I, I, I don't use it as much as I should because with all the soaps I have, sometimes it gets buried in the back. But when I bring it out, it's the first thing I say is, why am I not using this more often? Because it's fresh, it's clean, it's bright. And of course it lathers, you know, just like you'd expect from, you know, Rod's legendary formula. And um, it's just a wonderful, wonderful soap. And as I said, um, to me, if you were walking into heaven, which hopefully all of us will someday, rather than the other place, um, this is what it would smell like. And the barbershop in heaven would smell like Savoy Steam, and then where you'd go to continue to worship would smell like Elixir. And then as you're walking in between buildings through the fields, it would smell like English Fern. So... <laughs> But just a wonderful soap. Uh, I don't know how many uh, uh, how many shaves I've got on this uh, feather, but 
uh, still going strong. So let's talk about the vector. Um, there is no doubt as far as a handheld razor, um, and that would be D, E, S, E, or otherwise, that I feel that the vector is top notch. In fact, it approaches straight level shaving, but uh, those will always be my favorite. However, recently I have heard and I think it's been out for a while, I just haven't paid attention to it because of my rabbit hole tendencies. There is an open comb plate for this. Now, I already think that the Vector is the perfect overall razor. It's quick, it's efficient, it gives BBS shaves almost every time. And so why would you wanna mess with perfection? However, that being said, the reviews of the open comb base plate are outstanding, saying it makes the perfect shaver even more efficient, which I find somewhat hard to believe because I think that this thing is the most efficient razor I have. But also justifying the $82 cost for just a base plate, um, you know, takes some thought. However, to make this razor more perfect, uh, that's a uh, pretty tall order. And, and Shane from Blackland has continued to surprise me in everything he's done. Um, just fantastic razors. In fact, all the razors that I have sitting out are Blackland razors except for the feather. Because those are the ones I use the most, you know, with the uh, Blackbird the Trudari, and then, of course, the Vector. The Vector was my first one, and it very quickly went to the very top of the heap. Um, so, do I buy an open comb base plate for this razor? That's a toughie, because I've got the true the Trudari, which I think is a fantastic open comb razor. But, can the open comb base plate take the vector to an untouchable level in the den to where no razor could ever challenge it? It's an interesting conundrum to have. And those of you that follow me and that know me on the forum are probably already taking bets as to when that base place will be shipped. That base plate will be shipped. But I'm not there yet. Because right now, like I said, the this razor is as close to perfection as I think anything can get. And I know some people are saying, eh, I'm not going to drop the 82 bucks unless I try it first. And those same people are saying, ah, just like the bologna commercial or the life cereal commercial. Go ahead, Mikey will, you know, give it to Mikey. He'll like it. So many of you are probably saying, hey, Dave will buy it, then he'll let us borrow it. Which is true if I do buy it. I have never not sent things out to be tried. However, it's whether or not I want to mess with the karma of the vector as it is. But again, the reviews are tremendous about it. So we will ponder this some more. Up till now, I'm just enjoying this wonderful shave. Uh, as the shave goes on, the sterling you get more of the base notes in this so you're getting a little bit more of the amber a little bit more of the patchouli 
but not overly, overly done. I have yet to try the Proline blades in this razor, although I know that there are a lot of guys that think the Prolines and even the Kai Pinks are just as good, but I've just never, I use the, these ProGuard blades at the shop uh, in my Feather DX for doing lineups and everything else, and I've never found uh, a razor smoother than this to use on a client, and the clients uh, agree. I mean, usually I'll shave my clients with a regular straight razor, but every once in a while, depending on their beard and how tough their beard is, I may opt for the feather. Because it's just a no-brainer. And in some states, you have to use a disposable. Arizona, fortunately, we can still use a, uh, a true straight razor. Now, for all my elite straight shaves, um, I'll use the the true straight razor. And usually for the budget straight shaves, you know, I'll use the feather. A little bit of cleanup. Not much. I think the blade's going off a little bit. I've had this blade in here quite a while. But the uh, scent of strength, or the strength of scent, yeah, that's it, um, of the hipster is very nice. I just, like I said, the connotation of the name I think may have something. I mean, I'd like to see the, the demographic on how well that specific scent is selling based on that name. Uh, and then maybe mark it under, under another name. Because like I said, to me, it smells like heaven. It really, really does. Definitely a DSBBS shave all over. Um, as I said, Rod, Rod knocks it out of the park with his soaps and with his fragrances. Always has. I still have some of the old tubs of barbershop laying around. Um, but uh, I do like the new green tins or plastic uh, containers. So very, very nice shave. We'll see what the alum says. Tell me how, how fast that blade is going off. Yeah, nothing. So I'll probably keep it in for a little bit more. Because if I shave with my vector maybe twice a week, maybe three times a week, now that I've got the other two, yeah, not absolutely nothing. So if you haven't gotten hipster yet, I would definitely, uh, I would definitely get it. If you like a a bright citrus opening and then uh, it drawing down to a deeper, um, uh, just a deeper level, then I think you really like it. As I said, don't let the name hipster worry you and the nice thing about uh, uh, Rod's uh, aftershaves they come in a very nice bottle these are very reminiscent of the fine and a nice alcohol hit oh, very nice and once again we'll be using the talcum from Prorasso in the big monster tin, the 600 gram tin. And this is the eucalyptus and mint, or rosemary and mint, sorry. And the, the Van Cleef and Arpels actually uh, matches very well with the hipster.
wonderful stuff. Okay, well, there's your Sunday shave, folks. If you haven't checked us out before, please do so at www.theshavingcadre.com. We'd certainly enjoy having you as a member. And I uh, hope you have a great Sunday. And uh, like I said, the characters for today were the hipster, the Blackland Vector with a Feather Pro Guard blade, uh, Parasso Talc, and Parasso Alum. And then, of course, the Sorrentino brush and the hipster aftershave. So, Rod, again, great job. Think about maybe changing the name to Heaven, because I think it definitely is an ethereal soap. And uh, hope you guys can join us again at Barbara Dave's Barbershop at Home. This is Barbara Dave. Hope you have a great day. Thanks. Mm -hmm.